disciplined enough to hold, play that holding role in the midfield in front of the back four. As well kept in there by Clifford. Chelsea looking to get the first strike of the game away. And Arnholtz picked the ball up. You saw the wind blowing the debris across the Billy Clifford. Of course, there's no uh, Connor Clifford at the moment. He's joined Plymouth on loan, League One side. Bayern with a rare attack here in the opening six minutes. Turnbull parries that away. Now from Reykjavik, standing under 21 international. Chessa. Streeter. And we can. Nice layoff. Herzler. That's the first sign of a good bit of football, isn't it, by Bayern Munich? Ball's fallen nicely for Kakuta on the far side. Mellis has made a good run and it's been pulled back. Well, there's an opportunity for Salah. And he knows it, he's cross with himself. Van Arnholtz, McEachern. Mellis now, Kuta. Pass Flugler. And Sturridge near post. That's much better, isn't it? Much more positive. Deeper. Good ball for Gokhan Torre. Or oh, allowed back on his left. McEachern and Arnholt joining the attack now. Nice one, too. Good save. Well, I was going to say a little bit earlier on, and we haven't seen Patrick Van Arnholt. Majority of the possession beginning to look a little bit more dangerous than we were in the earlier stages. Hertzler has got it back again. Shooting chance, maybe. Uh, Fabian Hertzler dragging his shot wide of the near post. Jan Jatovic. Hertzler on this near side. Bypasses him to Thomas. Now it's Can. Another dragged shot. Yeah, we're just sitting a little bit deep there when the ball came. Bloody nose. Flugler. Oh, Sturridge. Oh, the flag stayed down here. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Beautifully done. And he deserves that applause. He outfoxed Henning Bortel and slotted it home. And Chelsea captain has given the Blues the lead. Well, we said it, didn't we? That an opportunity would come if he can stay on side and the delivery comes at the right time. Billy Clifford does very, very well. This time, Daniel Sturridge just holds his line, looks across, sees he's on side. It's up to him to beat Bortel. He does with ease. A simple one for him, just drags it away from the goalkeeper. It's a lovely little slide rule pass by Billy Clifford. Takes his time, and a tidy little finish on his right. And how crucial was it, Clyde, that the left gaps are keeping good possession and spreading the play as quickly as possible? Flugler coming, uh, coming back on. It's all right. He's had a change of shirt after the blood was on it. As Sturridge. Strikes again, didn't quite catch that one. He couldn't quite get it out of his feet, could he? I think he's probably blamed. Blender lead. So with the first team against Fulham, when it's 1-0 and then he takes one long-range strike to go in. Exactly what Bayern were trying to do there. Ooh. It's absolutely miserable out here. <laughs> it's absolutely lashing down. First touch for Barini. Sturridge, lovely touch. And Chelsea outnumbering Bayern here. He wants to take them all on here. It's Sturridge. Good save by Rummel, who's just come on. Again, you just by Patrick van Arnholt. Kakuta, little burst of acceleration back on his left. And beaten out by the goalkeeper, who gets lucky. Ah, good. The man who's come on, Rottenblicker. Ah, just forced back inside, wasn't he? Kakuta was able to come back and get his foot in. What a delivery that is. Great ball as well. Great touch from Sturridge. What a chance for Daniel Sturridge just to pop this in with his right foot. Doesn't do so, but we're and still alive. Barini, who makes no mistake from that sort of position. 2-0 Chelsea. The substitute strikes. Chelsea's top scorer was never going to miss that one. 
for good finish, isn't it? I just thought Daniel Sturridge needed to put that in with his right foot. Good strength, though, to try and keep the ball, but try and get it all wrong. Sturridge with a through pass, which is absolutely spot on for Barini. And that's a good finish. Let's take nothing away from him. Tucked it away so neatly. Takes his time again, composed, knows what he's doing, knows where he wants to put the ball, and a good finish. So that's his eighth of the season. Slide rule ball up to Sala. Now Kakuta. Clifford's cross. Away by Rico Strida. And Mellis with uh, the one that goes over the bar. You just feel that their movement is still there for Bayern Munich. Just the pace of the ball that they make their passes with is just not. Good Mellis, enough. lovely through ball. Oh, they're looking for the free kick there. Sturridge was virtually clean through. What does the referee do here? Arguably, this is a red card, isn't it? I hope not. I don't like to see it. But, uh, not too sure Daniel Sturridge couldn't have stayed on his feet here and, and gone for goal. Yeah, yeah he has been sent off. Yeah. But with a drive down the park, hasn't a great deal to do, has he, in the second half? Another opportunity for Chelsea here with Mellis. Van Arnholt, uh, he went for goal, and the goalkeeper hasn't kept it out. I think he's given offside. offside. <laughs> I think they're all just waiting to see if the ball just rolled over the line. Offside given. I just feel that the boys are just going through, not going to say go through the motions, but trying to be professional about it. Van Arnholt, fantastic run. Sturridge, 3-0. Superb goal by Chelsea. Right on cue, wasn't it? Right on cue. Again, Patrick Van Arnholt driving towards the back four. I think looking for the reverse pass as well, but let's say Daniel Sturridge done ever so well. Good first touch. Here we see Patrick driving in from this left-hand side towards Daniel Sturridge. Great first touch. Not the sweetest of strikes, but he knows where the goalkeeper is. He knows that he's going to be standing more or less at his near post. He just drills it into that far bottom corner. Well taken, thoroughly merited. He's played well today, Daniel Sturridge. And he'll okay, you always want to pop the ball into the back of the net. Oh, please, Daniel Sturridge, somewhat. Here's Barini. And this is Daniel Sturridge back on his left for the hat trick. Good save. I was just going to say, there's a man who wants to score a goal. <laughs> Another glorious crossfield ball. Played very well in his deeper lying role. Sturridge, Mellis, now Van Arnholt, Barini, Van Arnholt again, beautiful move from Chelsea, and just no end product, it's a corner. That's a good run. There he is again, killed that ball beautifully, Mellis. Far post, Sturridge with the acrobatics. I actually think he's done the right thing here, Daniel Sturridge. You know, we need a few minutes, if nothing else. It's Barini. Oh, having lost the ball, he worked tirelessly to get it back again. No foul. Nothing wrong with the ball in either. No, it's good to see Fabio Barini in the side, isn't he? He always gives 100%. And no matter what stage of the game, Billy Clifford now. Clifford into the area, and Barini. 4-0. The flag stayed down. Two for Sturridge, two for Barini. And a scoreline thoroughly reflecting Chelsea's dominance. Well, you get your bit of luck, don't you, when you're in that six-yard box. Billy Clifford does really well here. Just teases the last few defenders, tries to slot it home himself. A little deflection. And it just falls for Fabio Barini. They say that is that luck or is that intelligence? That's the sort of player you want sniffing around that six yard box. Gets his little bit of good fortune from the deflection. Never going to miss him there. Well, you literally can't miss that one, can you? Well, I've seen.